Hello everyone, this is BTG Programs, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to hack a SurveyMonkey poll. Um, so yeah, this is going to be pretty basic. We're going to be using Visual Basic Script, which is on every single Windows computer. Um, you won't actually need to know how to code anything. Uh, I'll be putting everything you need to know in the description, all the code that you'll need, uh, and you just copy and paste it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get the code from the description. Um, so this right here is the code we'll be using. It's pretty basic, as you can see. There's just a couple things you need to switch out depending on your poll. And that's literally all you need to do. So this will be in the description. Uh, and um, I know before sometimes it won't let me put some characters in there. So just look through it real quick. And if it looks like I'm saying to switch something out, then just uh, if it says that in the description, then just switch it out. Uh, it won't be it won't be a lot. Anyway, so basically what's going to be happening here is we're going to have a survey monkey poll. Uh, so I just made one, pretty simple one, just this, uh, and it just says enter the name of your choice for president, right? Uh, and these are just some responses I did while testing it real quick um, a while ago. Um, so if I pull up the actual poll in Internet Explorer, we're using Internet Explorer because um, it, we're able to manipulate that with uh, Visual Basic Script a lot more. Um, so you get the link to whatever your poll is. So go to the poll, the actual poll that you're going to do. Um, I can't do it on Chrome since I've already um, already taken the poll and I haven't blocked the cookies. So what you do, this is the poll that I'll be doing. So you copy that, you can do control C, or you can copy it like that. And then you go, well for me this is just to show you guys, uh, go up here, paste it in there, press enter. And it should bring up the poll. Right, so it's just a basic thing, it says enter the name of your choice for president. And I would say Ben, uh, just to show you guys what I'm doing, Ben 3. So then I do that, press done. So now, based on this, it should tell me when I go to the results since I made this. I update it, it should tell me uh, that someone voted for Ben 3. So, let's see. Yep, right there, Ben 3, as you can see right there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty basic, but say you want many of those responses, right? If, if it's just one single text box and you want to with something over and over and over again. Uh, for example, if we wanted to do, you switch it out here for whatever you want to put in, uh, and you say like sample, right? Uh, and then you put the link to your poll within these quotation marks, okay? Within the quotation marks. Just like you put whatever you want to vote for within those quotation marks. And there's a comment right next to it that says poll specific, so everything there. That's the only things you need to change. Uh, so this is just for if there's one text box, but I'll show you guys how to manipulate it if the poll is different. So what you're going to do, you're going to see how it has this within the quotation marks when it has this, right? So all you need to do for this, it, I know it looks really complicated. All you need to do, you go to your, you go to your, um, to the poll. And, uh, well, I guess I can't do it on this, but you go to it, I can do it on here, because I blocked cookies, which is what we're going to be doing next. And you want to inspect the element of the box that you're actually doing, right? So this box, I clicked in there, and I right-clicked, and I did inspect element, okay? So then you find it uh, in here. I don't know why it's not. It's much easier to do this on Chrome if you did it on Chrome before submitting a survey that it's a thousand times easier. Um, so yeah, this is much easier on Chrome, but all you do is you inspect element, and you find the actual, wherever this is, this is not being good because, um, but if I did it on Chrome, I could probably do it in incognito tab. Um, Let's see. 
Yep. Okay. So this this will be a lot simpler. Sorry. Uh, so then you just do inspect. And then it'll pull it up right here, and it'll say ID equals, and it'll have a number. Uh, it looks like it's probably nine digits, something like that. Um, so then you copy this. Do Control C or just right click copy. Really simple. That's all you need to do. Click in the box, right click, inspect element, find ID equals, and take that number. You need to copy that number. This is really the most important thing. And you go down here. You go back to the. Well, I'm opening this in um, uh, Notepad plus plus. But you can just use Notepad. Really, if you just go to a, like a text file, then you save it. Um, I'll show you how to save it later. Uh, and then that's all you need to do. So then you would paste it in there within the quotation marks. And yeah, it's already there, so it doesn't look any different. But you paste it. So that will be there, right? Now the rest of these, this is just saying like tab, tab, enter. That's how you all would, you know, go to uh, the, the submit button and press enter. Uh, anyway, so you save your document. I just did Control S. Um, and now, if we wanted to run this, uh, let's. Well, there's one one thing we need to do before. So what you need to do, you need to go to Internet Explorer, and you need to go up to the top here at the settings gear, and do Internet options. So now this will come up, and you want to go to privacy, and then you slide this slider all the way up to block all cookies, right? There's all these different things you want to have on block all cookies, and do apply, and OK. So now that means that it'll let us go over and over again to submit these. So um, I actually haven't done much on this, but I, I did um, a couple hundred votes on this one poll uh, so in the past, so I'm pretty sure that this works really well. Uh, because it definitely made a big difference. So now I will be showing you how it works. So if you open up your code and you run it, I have a shortcut, just alt space bar, but just run it however you want to. If you can, you can save it as a shortcut and double click it there, it really doesn't matter. Um, Alright, so now. Can't really see. happening here is it's opening it over and over, submitting sample, over and over and over again, right? And I, I only had it um, do it 10 times up here uh, because you know, I didn't want to overdo it, but uh, it won't work every single time just the way it works, but I, uh, I did it in a way where it'll fix itself if it gets messed up. Um, Anyway, so yeah, it should fix itself, and let's check the results, see if it, see if any of those votes actually counted, because uh, I know that didn't really look like it worked right. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to go to survey monkey analyze, and refresh it. This is just, this is just a check, you, you won't have to do any of this, but this is just to show how it actually works. And you can see sample right there, um, I, it, it went up many more times, but it's just, it's not showing right now. Because it typically takes a while to upload, uh, so it probably won't show this time either. But you can change on your code this number up here, how many votes you want it to try to do. So it, it won't remember, it won't do this many, but it'll uh, it'll try to do that many. All right? So you, you save it, and let's change this to like sample two. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna run this. I'm using a monitor, so this is out of the way, but as you can see, it's voting over and over again. Uh, what you can't see is when it submits, then opens the next page, and right as it loads, it goes back to this. So as you see, it's putting sample 2 over and over and over again. Uh, I'm actually on a pretty slow Wi-Fi right now, and using a pretty slow computer. Um, if you had a faster one, it could uh, it could work pretty fast, and you got fast Wi-Fi. So what you just saw there, when it opened another screen, that's actually showing how it self-corrects. So even though it went to a different website, the way I have it set up, it will then type in the uh, the right address and then go to that and keep voting. So this is going to do this iteration probably 30 times. So we could wait for that, or if you just exit out, it'll give you a little error, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so there's an error. I'm using a monitor, so some of the stuff you can't see just popping up. Uh, so now let's check the results. See what it says. Um, it says Alright, 
so like I said, it's not it doesn't show all of them yet. Um, but like I, like in the past, it they'll start showing up after a while. Um, and really, all you need to know now is what to change. So I showed you guys that showed you how to block the cookies. But chances are you're not going to have a survey monkey pull exactly like this. So I'm going to show you guys what you need to do to change it uh, to fit your needs perfectly. So basically, I'm going to explain what's happening here. Um, this is if, if you guys already have what you need, that's good. You can leave the video now, like, comment, and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed it. Comment if you have any questions. I can I'll do my best to answer them. I know that you know with bots, there's a lot to um, there's a lot that could go wrong. So just if you have any questions, let me know. Um, so what we're going to do now, say yours is different, right? So what this is doing, it's going directly to something, right? And it's entering, so it's finding this ID, right, on the page. And it's entering the name, which I saved up here, into there. What you could also do is just put the actual thing and say, like, you know, sample three. So now it would, be, it would run that, but I just did name to make it a little easier for myself. Um, So now, um, if you have, no matter how many fields you have, you can do that. Okay, so as long as you do it in order, say you had another one, uh, let me just copy and paste this. We did control C, and then control B. So say you had another one that was code 9, 8, 7, I don't know, it's just a couple numbers different. Um, so now, you could put something in here to say it said and who you want for vice president and you say John Adams, right? And then you save this. Then it'll also do that one. It'll navigate there and it'll enter this. So now as long as you have the last field in the last thing, then you just do this, tab, tab, enter. Right? Because that will do it'll tap down to the submit button and press enter. So no matter how many fields you have, you can just keep doing this over and over and over again, uh, just keep going, one, two, no matter how many fields you have, just keep going, uh, and then this will finish it off for you. If there's if there's anyone here that needs to figure out how to, um, I know on SurveyMonkey you can do some polls that are like multiple choice, like uh, radio buttons. Um, if anyone needs to know how to do that, comment and I can make a video for you. It's a little... It's a little different, so that's why I'm just not doing that right now. But if you guys do need that, then let me know. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them. Uh, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, let me know about your success, about your failure, and anything you need to know. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.